So a couple of videos ago, I talked about Dead or Alive 6 and Koei Tecmo's greed with this game. Every new entry has gotten worse in terms of just how greedy they've gotten with how they're charging for DLC and charging for basic features like changing hair color. Back in February 25th, 2020, Dead or Alive 6 introduced premium tickets that can be used to change the hair color from 16 colors with one premium ticket. So one premium ticket is about a dollar and every character in this game has various hairstyles and each of those hairstyles has 16 hair colors and they essentially charge to change hair color now keep in mind it's not to unlock the hair permanently it's to just change the hair color so if you have black hair and change it to blonde that's a dollar if you want to change it back to black hair that's another dollar it's essentially turning hair colors into consumable dyes essentially kind of like how destiny 2 did it starting out koei tecmo here is trying to experiment with new ways to monetize players new features to remove and then charge players for that create a problem so they can charge for the solution so here's a clip posted by a japanese twitter user showing this you can see right here that every hair color costs one ticket, which is roughly a dollar, and there is no in-game way to unlock this. You cannot earn in-game currency. You have to spend real money for a basic feature. So this is just uh, greed at its finest. This is just nickel and diming players when they absolutely don't have to. It's just making money for the sake of making money at the sacrifice of the game's integrity and just giving players certain cool features. And this is all on top of the fact that Dead or Alive 6 is a premium priced game. And if you go to the Steam page, you can actually scroll down and find all of the expensive DLC they're charging money for. All of this amounts to about $2,000 worth of DLC. Now, there are some duplicate stuff in there, you know, sets and then individual components of those sets. And so, in actuality, I think it's actually like over $1,000 worth of DLCs rather than $2,000, but it's still a ridiculous amount of money they're asking for for DLC on top of now gouging players a dollar per changing hair color. It's ridiculous. So it's been about a month since premium tickets and charging to change hair colors was introduced. And throughout that time, people kept complaining and it would seem as though dead or alive, the team have reacted, but the solution they have provided to this, them taking a step back after taking like three steps forward, is a joke. It's just, it's still pretty greedy and egregious. They're still charging for hair colors, just in a way that isn't the worst possible version of this microtransaction system. So here's the statement that they provided on Twitter. It reads as follows. Release date for patch version 1.21a is scheduled to be on March 31st. 1.21a is applied only for PS4 version, so Xbox One and PC users will have to wait for this adjustment. And then the bullet point here reads, the hair color change feature has now been revised. Hair color can now be unlocked permanently for any hairstyle that offers it and includes all available colors. E.g. if you purchase hair color for Marie Rose's long hairstyle, you will unlock all 16 hair colors for this style. All premium tickets that were used to purchase hair colors prior to this update have been refunded. E.g. if you have used five tickets to purchase hair colors on version 1.20 and version 1.20. You will receive five premium tickets when you apply the version 1.21a update. As a result of the revision, all hair color settings have been reset to default. Thank you for your understanding, Dead or Alive 6 team. So essentially, now players, instead of spending money to change hair color as if it were a consumable, instead of renting hair color, they get to unlock all 16 hair colors of one style permanently by spending money on a hairstyle. Now, do keep in mind that every character has a number of hairstyles, so unlocking all of those for each individual character is still gonna cost you quite a bit of money. It's better than what they had before, but the fact remains that they're charging money to change hair colors, to unlock hair colors, and people aren't idiots. They're picking up on this, this 
three steps forward, one step back maneuver. Dead or Alive 6 is trying to pretend like, you know, it's listening to feedback and they're trying to push the goalposts with this three steps forward, one step back maneuver. But in this day and age, people are more and more attentive to these things. And so you scroll down through the Twitter thread here and you can see that people are pretty displeased by this, that they didn't fully revert this and just give hair colors for free to people. This basic feature that isn't hard to implement, doesn't cost a lot of money to implement. It's just something that Koei Tecmo is taking advantage of. Really, more than anything, it really isn't new content per se. And so, you know, bro, what Tecmo? Come on. We have to unlock hair color for each individual hairstyle. Stop being greedy and just make it free like every other fighter. Similar responses can be found on the official Dead or Alive subreddit. When one user posted about this new update, here are some of the things people had to say. Still only on PS4, still have to pay per haircut, still greedy as shit with the rest of the DLC practices. Koei has a long way to go before I believe they give a shit about this franchise anymore. If they could be better with their DLC across all their games, that would be great too. Here's another Reddit user who pointed out the obvious, fixed it, the only thing they fixed is that it ain't a consumable anymore, still have to pay actual money for a free feature in every other game, including Koei Tecmo games, shoutouts to Neo, and it is still PS4 only, fuck off Koei Tecmo. So you get the idea, many people are just not letting this slide, they're not letting Koei Tecmo take this one step back after those three steps forward and pretend like they're doing the right thing, pretend like all of a sudden this is going to make everything all right. And there are plenty of people here flat out highlighting that metaphor of, you know, three steps forward, one step back. This individual said, we shouldn't be okay with this either. They took monetization four steps too far and they have taken one step back. They're still taking it three steps too far and creating a new norm for the future. Indeed, if they want to ask money for hair colors, which they shouldn't if you look at other games within the genre, at least do it in a single pack that unlocks every color for every hairstyle for every character that is already released and every character that releases afterwards. This pack can be sold for ten dollars or euros see that right there is already giving them some leeway you give them an inch and they'll take a mile they'll take everything so i would say that they should not be charging for any sort of pack or anything period there's no monetary transaction that should be involved in anything related to hair colors in a game that allows for customizable characters. This is still allowing Koei Tecmo half a step forward over the line, and that could also set a precedent for the future, which I don't think is something anyone really wants. And then here's one more Reddit user who said, Welp, this is the fix, huh? That's a shame. They are trying to convince that hair color is something we should have to pay for. This is how companies inch their monetization tactics forward. Two steps forward, customer backlash, one step back, expect gratitude repeat it's up to us what we I think is worth paying for not them and if you start looking at how many hairstyles each character has and you add all of that up you can see that it's a sizable amount of money so here we have the character Kokoro she has four hairstyles this is Kasumi she has five hairstyles this is Leifang she has five hairstyles as well and this is Christy she has three hairstyles total and these are just a few examples now keep in mind that this is footage from back in 2019 I'm not sure if in that year they've added new hairstyles and if they did you'd have to pay a dollar or two to unlock that hairstyles uh, 16 hair colors and if you consider that dead or alive 6 has 31 characters total as of the publishing of this video and consider that each character has you know three to four to five hairstyles and then you start spending a dollar or two per hairstyle to unlock the hairstyle colors you do the math and say it's, you know, an average of four hair styles per character and it's a dollar per, then, you know, you multiply four by 31 and you get $124 to unlock the ability to change hair colors across all characters, across all hairstyles. That's an asinine price point for such a basic feature that's implemented for free as part of the game for so many video games with customizable characters. It's twice the price of a full-fledged premium-priced video game. Sure, this isn't the worst possible version of this microtransaction system. It's no longer charging a dollar every time you want to change hair colors. You do get to unlock hair colors permanently, but don't let that distract you from the fact that Dead or Alive 
Five is now trying to charge money to change hair colors which is such a basic feature and a monetization model that certainly doesn't belong in a premium priced game that already sells over a thousand dollars worth of DLCs that is still finding all of these other different ways to nickel and dime and gouge players for their money. So fuck right off Koei Tecmo with your greedy antics, fuck right off with this so-called revision. Many people just aren't buying it. People are recognizing that with every new Dead or Alive entry, the monetization's just getting more and more disgusting. I feel like fighting games in general have been following this trend of charging money for all of these cosmetics, charging money for old characters and selling them as DLCs. Just, uh, I mean, going to a level where it is absolutely unnecessary and unwarranted it's just corporate greed. So that's one man's take on Dead or Alive 6's revision on charging for hair colors. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on this monetization scheme and people's reaction to it. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.